Welcome back to our channel. Today, we have an exciting topic to discuss. Anegi Eel Farming Anegi, also known as Japanese freshwater eel, is a popular delicacy in many countries, and we're going to take you through the fascinating process of how these amazing creatures are farmed. Before we continue on our journey at the farm hatchery, let us take you on a quick brief on how this eels breeds. This freshwater eels have a complex reproductive cycle that involves both oceanic and freshwater stages. The breeding process is fascinating and occurs in several stages. When they are sexually mature, undertake a long and arduous journey from freshwater rivers back to the ocean to spawn, and it typically occurs during the autumn season. After the eggs are released in the ocean, the eggs hatch into tiny, transparent, leaf-shaped larvae called leptocephali. The leptocephali enter a phase of extensive oceanic drift, during which they travel with ocean currents for several months until they develop into a transparent glassy noodles-like feature, before they reach metamorphosis stage. In metamorphosis stage, the glass eels begin to develop pigmentation in their bodies. They develop into a more eel-like shape, with a longer body, and more recognizable features. This is when, they will return to the freshwater, swim upstream to reach suitable habitats, such as lakes, ponds, or rivers to undergo significant growth and transformation to an adult eel. The Anagi eels typically only spawn once in their lifetime. After completing their migration from freshwater rivers to the ocean, and undergoing the oceanic spawning process, they do not reproduce again. Because of the complex life cycle of the eel, breeding stock in captivity is something that is quite difficult. Even there are some farms have successfully breed them in captivity, most farmers prefer to get their stock from the wild. Before eel cultivation can begin, farmers need to obtain the baby eel stock, also known as elvers. These tiny creatures are the foundation of successful eel farming operations. Elvers are notoriously challenging to find and catch in the wild. Their migration patterns and timing make them a prized catch for eel farmers. Let's discover how they are captured. Elver fishermen use specialized equipment for capturing these tiny creatures. The most common tool is a fine mesh net, known as an elver net or dip net. This net is designed to allow water to pass through while trapping elvers. The size of the mesh is crucial to prevent larger fish or debris from entering the net. Elvers are nocturnal and tend to migrate at night, seeking cover during the day. Therefore, Elver harvesting is typically done during nighttime hours. Fishermen often use powerful lights or headlamps to attract the elvers and make them visible in the water. To increase the chances of catching elvers, fishermen strategically place their nets in locations where elvers are likely to migrate. This can include near riverbanks, weirs, or other structures that help guide the elvers into the net. Once the elvers are caught in the nets, they need to be handled with care. Elvers are delicate and sensitive creatures. Fishermen typically use shallow containers or buckets to collect the elvers gently. This minimizes stress and ensures their survival during the transport process. The elvers are swiftly transported to eel farms where they are raised to maturity through aquaculture practices. And there you have it the vital first step in eel farming by securing the baby eel stock. From monitoring water conditions to employing specialized tools, capturing elvers is an art form in itself. The baby eels will be carefully transported to the hatchery facility. Here, they are acclimatized to their new environment and provided with optimal conditions to thrive. Before introducing the elvers into the hatchery tanks, 
they undergo a health assessment to detect any signs of disease or stress. Quarantine protocols are followed to prevent the introduction of pathogens to the farm. Regular monitoring and health assessments are conducted to ensure the elver's well-being. Hatchery staff carefully inspect the elvers for any signs of stress or disease, ensuring their continued growth and vitality. Once the elvers are deemed healthy, they are carefully transferred to the hatchery tanks. These tanks mimic the natural habitat of the eels, providing them with the ideal water temperature, pH levels, and oxygenation. Anagi eels have specific dietary requirements to support their growth and development. Creating the ideal feed formulation is an art form. Hatchery staff carefully combine fish meal, fish oil, vitamins and minerals to create a balanced and nutritious feed specifically tailored to the needs of the Anagi eels. Continuous monitoring of the eels' feeding behavior Maintaining the right feeding frequency and portion control is essential for the eels' well-being. The eels will be feed twice a day, ensuring that they are thriving and obtaining the nutrients they require. Every step is taken to provide these remarkable creatures with a balanced and nutritious diet. And there you have it, an insight into the intricate process of fish meal feeding for anagi eels. As they grow, larger and more aggressive eels tend to exhibit predatory tendencies, preying on smaller and weaker eels within the same tank, resulting in uneven growth rates and size disparities within a tank. To mitigate the effects of cannibalism and ensure optimal growth, eel farmers conduct weekly grading sessions. During these sessions, eels are carefully sorted based on their size, and after grading, eels of similar sizes are transferred to size-segregated tanks. This separation helps prevent larger eels from preying on smaller ones, ensuring a more equitable distribution of resources, and promoting balanced growth. On average, it can take approximately one to three years for anagi eels to grow to a mature size, suitable for harvest in a farm setting. Harvesting eels requires precision and expertise. Hatchery staff demonstrate various tools and techniques, such as hand nets and specially designed eel traps, to capture the mature eels without causing harm or stress. Cleaning eels requires meticulous attention to detail, Hatchery staff expertly remove the slime using specially designed tools to ensure the eels are thoroughly cleaned while preserving the delicate flesh. Before the filleting process begins, eels are carefully prepared and loaded onto the automated machinery. An automated filleting machinery is used for precision cutting and automated movements. Filleting eels is a skill that demands precision and finesse. Throughout this process, quality control measures are in place to ensure the highest standards are met. Advanced imaging systems and human oversight monitor the filleting process, identifying any inconsistencies or imperfections. After the eels are carefully cleaned, they are meticulously prepared and loaded onto the automated machinery for grilling process. Here, the concept of flavorless eel grilling, where the focus is on preserving the pure essence of the eel without additional flavors. By grilling the eels in this manner, we allow their natural characteristics to take center stage. In this factory, advancements in automated eel grilling machinery designed to achieve precise grilling results with efficiency and consistency. 
the automated grilling process begins as the machinery takes charge. Equipped with advanced temperature control, adjustable grilling surfaces, and precise timers, the eels are grilled to perfection, infusing them with enticing smoky flavors. While automation drives the grilling process, flavor infusion techniques are still carefully curated by skilled chefs. The machinery facilitates controlled basting, glazing, and smoking, ensuring that the eels develop a delectable depth of flavor. Once the eels have been expertly grilled, they are carefully packaged to preserve their succulent texture and smoky aroma. Automated systems streamline the packaging process, facilitating efficient distribution to markets, restaurants, and eager food enthusiasts.